Hello guys and welcome back here at Gaming Boulevard on YouTube. Thank you for tuning in with us today. So we're going to do a quick review of Mario Kart 64. It released on Wii U Virtual Console this week. So Mario Kart 64 is another Nintendo game that made a jump to 3D worlds during the Nintendo 64 era. Not only was it the first 3D Mario Kart, it was also one of the first games to support the 4 player multiplayer that Nintendo 64 was known for. Without any extra accessories, gamers could enjoy Mario Kart 64 with up to 4 players. It released back in 1997 but re-released in the Wii U's eShop this week. Is it still worth getting or would you rather stick with the modern Mario Kart games? Time to find out. First things first however, Mario Kart 64 combines 2D with 3D worlds. The racers are just 2D sprites and the tracks are created using 3D models. At first this needs some time to get used to. If you've played any recent Mario Kart game on a 3D console, you might find controlling these 2D sprites a little hard. You really need to get used to it and playing the game on a high-end television is rather strange. It doesn't look that good and it didn't age that well to be honest. Compared to games like Wave Race 64 where races are fully 3D modeled, this Mario Kart 64 can be a bit of a letdown. We recommend playing it on the gamepad since a smaller screen really benefits the game. That being said, there's still a lot of fun to be found in this game however. First of all, let's start with the characters and tracks. There's a total of 8 playable characters, which isn't that much compared to the most recent ones, and a total of 16 tracks divided into 4 cups. A lot of the maps are remade in modern Mario Kart games, but playing the classic version still is a lot of fun. The maps are big and filled with shortcuts to ensure you end up first. The 8 playable characters do feel different from each other thanks to the different weight classes. Mario for example will easily be pushed off the road if a character like Wario bumps into him on track. Everything feels balanced and each track is fun to play. If you want to play some true classic Mario Kart tracks, you'll find them in here without a doubt. Mario Kart 64 also introduced some new items to the game. The Red Shield for example got upgraded with a trio version of the Red Shields and the Banana also got upgraded with more bananas to throw away. The biggest innovation came with the Flying Blue Shield. That's right, the item everybody hates and still ruins friendship in modern Mario games had its origin here in Mario Kart 64. Don't worry however, it isn't as unbalanced as in the Wii version and it won't appear that much. Some of the items like the red shield aren't as accurate as you're used to but every item has its own strengths to help you reach a finish first. In fact the basic features that make a Mario Kart game so enjoyable are all here as well. You have different characters, interesting items and surprisingly fun tracks to play on. Things get better if you hook up some extra controllers to play the game with up to 4 players. You can play the cup, VS matches or battles with your friends on the couch. Nothing really beats that feeling of Mario Kart and chill. That being said, the game does come with its limitation. The original game used the extra memory pack to store ghost data. This memory pack used to be inserted in the Nintendo 64 controller. And since this is a straight port, the game isn't able to find this extra memory pack on the Wii U controller, meaning you can't save your ghost data for time trials. It's a shame Nintendo didn't invest a little more time in this port to allow ghost data to be saved on the Wii U console. The console has enough memory to handle some Mario Kart 64 Ghost for sure, a missed opportunity. Aside of this, Mario Kart 64 still is a lot of fun to play. It's great to see some of the classic tracks return and the 8 playable characters offer enough variation to keep things fresh. If you like Mario Kart and want to see how the game made the jump to the 3D era, you should really check this one out. A lot of modern Mario Kart games on the other hand offer improved version of those tracks and offer the same amount of fun. It's a shame the ghost data isn't included. That's why we give this Wii U port a 7.5 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our channel for more and don't be shy to comment on our review.